So far, from week number six to week number eight, we have built the foundation of object-oriented programming: classes, attributes, methods, method calls, context objects, dot notation, and etc. So these are the ingredients that will be required for building some mobile app in a in an IDE like an Android Studio. So since you have already got a foundation built, we would like to for this week. Uh, do some mobile app development as a useful application uh, to sh uh, illustrate how useful it would be for object-oriented programming. And mobile app development is just one useful application. However, there's something I would like to clarify. So for week number nine, the current week, we're going to use uh, the Android Studio for your weekly tutorial video. Uh, for your yeah, your weekly tutorial. However, starting from week number ten and until week twelve, for the final three weeks, we will resume back to Eclipse to show you the more advanced uh, data structure called two-dimensional arrays and also Java API library. However, for your uh, week number uh, for your lab number seven and lab number eight, you will be required to actually use Android Studio to complete the assigned mobile apps. So for the labs, you will actually complete it, complete them using uh, Android Studio, but for the weekly tutorial videos starting from next week, you will still use Eclipse. It's not really uh, confusing, you just have to be sure that you actually separate between them properly. For those of you who might be familiar with uh, the ID called IntelliJ, so Android Studio uh, should not be too uh, strange to you. It should be very friendly because it's also based on IntelliJ. But if you only have been using ID, uh, the Eclipse IDE only, that should have uh, you have you should have no problem uh, either because uh, any, uh, any two programming IDEs, any programming ID uh, IDEs will be similar to each other to a certain extent. All right. Having said this, let's now try to set up the projects. I would like you to first go to the folder uh, for the GitHub, right? The, the one you clone to your desktop, for example. So, so far we got all the week number one to week number eight uh, Java projects uh, for the Eclipse. So to really distinguish between Android Studio and Eclipse, I would suggest we create one empty folder over here. That's called a mobile apps. Okay, over here. And then click on that. And of course it's, uh, it is empty. And we're going to create uh, for this week, two uh, Android Studio projects over here, one for each app. So we'll, we'll develop uh, two simple, uh, two sim uh, two simple apps. One is called uh, one for greeting, uh, sending some greeting message, and the other one for uh, manipulating counters. Both are simple, but they can definitely illustrate uh, various features that you will need for your lab number seven and lab number eight. Right. All right. Let me put this aside. And then let me uh, go to Android Studio. I'm making the following assumption. So there is a PDF uh, instruction uh, separate from this video uh, for the tutorial. And the PDF actually specify exactly what you should do in order to install Android Studio on your machine. For those of you who really cannot uh, install Android Studio on your machine for whatever reason, you can definitely you can definitely still use the Android Studio available on the remote lab machine. So both are fine. Either use your own machine, or you can use a uh, use a remote lab machine to launch Andro uh, Android Studio. Either way is fine. But for now, I'm simply assuming you got one Android Studio to, uh, handy to you, right? Okay, so now let's click on create new projects over here. And then by default, you will be uh, chosen for basic activity, but don't choose that. Choose the empty activity over here and then say next. And for the name, uh, for the first app, we'd like to uh, uh, send some greeting messages. So we'll say greeting. Okay, just spell it properly. We can just say greeting over here. And then the package name over here, you want to make sure you type EECS 1022.tutorial.greeting. Okay, just make sure you do that, okay? You can see by default, uh, it was simply just going to have the name uh, over here called greeting, right? And I already uh, tried this uh, project uh, a few times already, but by default, uh, you, the path you have should be pointing to the Android Studio workspace. I would suggest you uh, simply go for browse, okay? And then go to desktop and go to the workspace, okay? And then go to the mobile apps and then click on open over here. So that will be the the, uh, the workspace for the, all the Android Studio projects. And then say forward slash, and you want to make sure you have the same name over here, just greeting. I can simply copy that and then just paste, just greeting. Just make sure you do this step properly, right? Under mobile apps, we should create just another folder called greeting eventually, right? And then the language over here, you want to make sure you choose uh, Java. 
uh, by default, Kotlin will be chosen, but you want to choose Java. So that will be the language we want to use for this course. All right. And then uh, for the minimum SDK, you can simply leave it uh, as default. It should be all right. And say finish. All right. It's going to build uh, the projects. Uh, depending on the machine, it might take a very amount of time. But at the same time, let me simply go to uh, the desktop, right? Go to this folder over here. You can see under mobile apps, I got greeting over here, right? That's the first project I have just created. If you go under greeting, you can see these are the various stuff that have been created by Android Studio, okay? The main folder you want to focus on will be the app folder, okay? Later on, when you want to uh, submit any files for your lab number seven or lab number eight, you will have to go into this particular folder, right? Okay, if you click on uh, go to app, and under app, you got something called source. Okay, go to source, and then you will see under the main over here, we got Java. Okay, and then ECS1022 and tutorial. Remember, this uh, this is a package name that we created, ECS1022 tutorial, right? Under that, we got greeting. And by default, it's only got main activity.java, right? So that's something we'll go into. I just want to show you the critical files you want to know. And also, apart from the main, uh, okay, actually uh, under the main, apart from Java, you can see there's another folder called REST, standing for resources. If you uh, click on that, you can see there are so many things over here, but mainly we are going to focus on under layout, there will be some XML file, activity underscore main.xml. We'll look at that later. So this file is for your graphical user interface design. And then sometimes you may have to modify this particular values folder under which you got strings.xml. Okay, that's also something you may need to modify later. And for the test over here under Java and under ECS1022 tutorial over here under grading, you can see many many subfolders here. In some way, the directory structure is much more complicated than your Eclipse project. So that's why we chose not to introduce to you the Android, uh, Android Studio right in the beginning of the course. It's not a wise way to go for your learning. Now that you already get used to some IDE and you're, you're used to OOP, it will be now a good time to for you to uh, look at the uh, Android, uh, Android Studio developments. All right, you can see currently under the test, we got something called example unit test.java. Oh, but so you can see that it's actually JUnit test, right? That's something we'll also try to develop later in the tutorial. So eventually, so let me just recap very quickly. There are mainly these files you want to pay attention to under the source. One is about the main activity.java for with so-called controller. And also for activity underscore main.xml for the view, for the GUI design. And also under the values, we will need the strings. Sometimes if you want to use uh, maybe like a spinner for drop down menu, in that case, you have to modify the strings, which I'll show you later, okay? And also under the test, you also got a JUnit test file, okay? So we also gonna develop some JUnit tests, which will follow exactly the same syntax as before, but you just have to know how to do it. All right, so that's about the folder structure. And at the same time, I believe uh, the build has been done already, right? Okay, I believe it's not busy anymore. You can see the button at the IDE is not really showing any uh, anything in progress, so it should be done. Okay, good. And uh, for this part here, you might be identifying the Git uh, Git uh, structure in your workspace. You can just say "Don't ask again." That's fine. You just go. You can simply use the GitHub Desktop to commit and push your projects as usual. All right. Uh, we you can see right now we got uh, the structure as I explained before under app. We got Java, and also under Java, we got actually uh, under ECS1022 tutorial greeting, right? We got main activity. We will touch uh, example unit test and also main activity later.